Okay, so we have a bunch of ingredients here, such as mushrooms, red pepper, cucumbers, asparagus, broccoli, meat, the two types of cheese that we're going to melt in here, some nutmeg, some ground white pepper, lemon, and then we have the broth and cornstarch. Next, we're going to start putting some of the ingredients into the pot. I took the top off so it's a little more open. First, we have our garlic, and we're going to rub it all around. So, all Okay, and then we're just going to leave the garlic in there. Next, we're going to do one cup of the broth. Here we have our cup. Perfect. Next, we're going to add 1.5 tablespoons of cornstarch. Is this 1.5? And then we're going to add our cheese. I want to make it extra cheesy, so we're just going to add all of this in here. It's going to be so nice. Let's mix it up. And let's turn on the heat. Let's wait for this to all melt and then we can do our dipping. Okay, so this is what the cheese looks like. It looks very nice, and now we're going to add some of our seasoning. So first we're going to add one-fourth a teaspoon of nutmeg. And then we're going to add half a teaspoon of ground white pepper. Come out. Then finally, we're going to squirt in this half, well, this is not a half, but some lemon. One tablespoon more. And let's mix. Okay, so now you can see how cheesy the fondue is. And now we're going to try it with each of these things. We have a lot, and I'm kind of nervous on how some are going to taste, but I'm excited for the others. We have these utensils right here that came with this like fondue thing. So let's first off by grabbing the mushroom. Put that in. Um, mu the mushroom, asparagus, and broccoli are all cooked we don't want to eat that raw. So we have our mushroom. I feel like I'm going to lose it in the pot. Ooh, okay. It's covered all in cheese. Hopefully the cheese is not too hot. really good with the mushroom. It kind, of, it kind of reminds me of when my dad used to make these like stuffed mushrooms. I was obsessed with those. So mushrooms are really good. Now let's try red pepper. Put it in this thing. Let's dip it in. I've never had cheese with red pepper so let's see how it tastes. pretty good. I'm pretty shocked about this one. And then we have a cucumber. I'm only going to do a little bit so because I'm kind of nervous about this one. I don't like 
like it. <laughs> I just feel like the flavors don't match together, even though cucumber is just basically water. But, mmm. And then we have our asparagus. I'm going to dip the head in it. It's because this is long. I don't really need a skewer for it. Mmm. <laughs> this one's good. And then, finally, for these vegetables and fruits, I'm going to try some broccoli. Stick the head in it. too bad. I would definitely say cucumber is a little bit worse, but it's not the worst. But it's not the best. <laughs> and then finally, we're going to do some beef. It's like an OG thing to eat with this. So we have our beef. Let's drench it in the cheese. And let's try. Hot. It's hot. Best thing by far. Okay, so this is my brother Kai. Hi. And I'm gonna get his reaction to trying all of these with the cheese fondue. Sweet. So first start off with the mushrooms. They're all kind of cold because they're in the fridge. Mmm. Mmm, the cheese. Sorry, but the cheese is so good. Okay, mm -hmm. now we'll try the red pepper. Do I have to try all these? Mm-hmm. Why? Try the red pepper. I don't want to eat the red pepper. Okay, so Kai doesn't want to eat the red pepper, so <laughs> next try the cucumber. Alright. Mm. You like it? I didn't like the cucumber. Oh, what do you mean? That's really refreshing. I'll have that. Okay, next try the asparagus. Everything? Mm-hmm. Eat your asparagus. Can I skip to the meat? Mm-mm. -mm. <laughs> Eat your asparagus. Mm. Okay. You don't need a fork. <laughs> <laughs> I almost lost it. Mm. Mm. That's pretty good, yeah. Okay, so next we're going to do the broccoli. Nope, thank you. Okay, Kat does not want to do the broccoli. <laughs> and let's just do the meat now. Okay, this is what I've been waiting for. Mmm, that's the best one. Best one? Mm-hmm. What about out of these? Which ones did you like the best? Except you only tried. I think I like the mushrooms the best. Mushrooms the best. Mm -hmm. So we basically had the same things that we liked the best. Mm -hmm. And... If you ever try fondue out for the first time, probably the best thing to eat with it is meat because that's like the OG thing instead of being kind of risky with different types of fruits and vegetables. But mushrooms are really good with it. So, beef and mushrooms. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed and bye guys.